We are going on an adventure right now. So, just traversing this section of coast, which is chossy, sharp, sketchy as limestone. I just want to get around the corner a bit to fish this spot. So, uh, we'll keep going. We've already done one sketchy little traverse climb above the water with jagged rocks everywhere. Well, that's a good hold. Dear me. And I think up around here there's a section that looks pretty tricky, so I brought a rope. You might need to throw it in. Oh yes, and so I forgot to say what we're doing. We are fishing. Got a rod in the backpack. We just target species is snapper and dewfish, I reckon. Got a bit of salmon in the backpack as bait as well. Radio. How do we get down here? Not down there. I'm gonna go down here and then that way. The problem is, I don't know if there's anything that is actually safe to trust around here without pulling it down on top of my own head. Sure, we'll figure something out. Bloody star picket probably would have been the best option. This here looks like it could go. I don't need much. I just need like a, a boulder like that, but one that's not going to go. Like this one. What's this doing? I feel all right about this one. That could be my best bet. Literally just slinging a rock like that. Let's give this a go. This for sure is some of the sketchiest. Crap out there. All right. All right, that's my, that is my anchor. Do not abseil off of it, but it's just like a safety measure. Give me something to pull on a little bit, hopefully. All right, there we go. Let's start. I don't like this. Backpack is on. We're ready to go. So I can climb back up this without a rope, but I certainly do like having the rope there. And going down is the worst. But I need to be careful about... using the rope, because it can dislodge rocks on me as well. Like that big thing. I want to use it only a little bit. All right. Yes, safe. And I'm sure that the way back would be easier. Getting down is the worst. That was not fun. I am ready to cast. Just had a big set come through. I'm going to try to get out that way. The problem's going to be getting a fish over the reef. It's a little bit better. Not much over where I want to be. I got nowhere to sit, except we're on a spiky rock. Yes, come on. In the zone there. And I feel snagged already. Yep, there goes the sinker. That did not take long. Yeah, sinker went, oh, hook went pop too. Hook and sinker popped. Okay, 
We'll try some more ones on. Re-rigged. Let's send it. That's a bit better, a little bit further. Bigger sinker. Alright, let's go for a bait check. A weed check. Yeah, weed all over my line. I find once you get too much weed on your bait, the fish don't really have much interest in it normally because it's just hidden. Little taps. Need something bigger to come through and smash it. Snags. Do I back off and let's see what happens? Maybe I should. My sinker or my hook, so I've backed off. I'm still getting bites. I'm hoping I can hook a fish up and it'll pull me out. <clears throat> no. Time to see if I can free it or not. Oh, it doesn't feel good. Oh, yep, 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 come on. It came free. Oh, good. I needed my sinker back. If I keep doing this, eventually I'll pull all the weed out of the ocean. I'll have a pile this big. That was a good bite immediately. I didn't even get a chance to sit down. I felt it go do 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 do. Yep. That's a fish. He was like a small snapper. Ooh, what is it? I think it's a snapper. Do that. And just winch him. Not too big. Not too small either. Lovely. There we go. I'm pretty pumped on that. Just a nice size snapper. Um, probably around 60 centimeters. I'm gonna see if I can get one more. Before we go, I had my doubts. I thought I might not get anything here. I was just catching weed. Got snagged early on. Yep. Sort of in the zone there. Flip this around so I'm not sitting on fish poo and slime. Let's see. Jewfish or a bigger snapper. Oh, what? Immediately. Immediately. All right. Let's see if it comes back. <laughs> I barely sat down then. Yep. We're on. Maybe a bigger fish, or maybe I'm just fighting more current. I don't know. No. There he is. I think it's a bigger fish. Yeah, definitely a bigger fish. That's a good size one. How good's that? Nice size snapper. Um, I'm gonna dispatch it, bleed it out. More fillets to take home and plenty for dinner tonight over the fire. So, yes.
Oh, I wasn't even filming. I thought the camera was on. That is so annoying. I literally just winched a third fish in. One, two, three. This is the biggest, I think. Boom, just like that. No mucking around at all. How hot is that fly? It's just like one, two, three, done. All right, I'm gonna pack up and we're gonna go. We're done. And my backpack is heavier than when I came here by quite a bit. All right guys, just interrupting your video quickly to tell you about this cool product that allows me to eat my breakfast. Um, just think of the possibilities, eh? This thing has got 720 watt hours of power, which equals about 60 amp hours um, at 12 volt. If I did my math correct, it's got a 600 watt inverter, which allows me to power the toaster, only just. But in all seriousness, what I will actually use this for, apart from stupid things like this, is um, gonna look a bit more like this. Normally I'll go on a fishing trip, I'll hike in somewhere, I'll abseil, I'll do whatever, I'll catch fish hopefully, I'll film, I'll hike back to the car at the end. All my camera gear is on the way to being empty and I would normally plug it all in one at a time, fiddling around with the little 12 volt thing in the car because I'll then go and do a second video. That's normally what I do. Now I can back seal fish easily with this if I catch stuff. And I can plug the whole lot in, throw it on the front seat of the car, drive to the second destination, and it all charges just like that, easy. We have got 200 watt solar panel on the side here, I'll show you that, 220, sorry. Which you can have plugged in, charging it at the same time as it is being depleted, charging stuff. Here's the cord for that. And plug that in we'll probably mess around with the numbers on the front that you probably can't read anyway because frame rate and stuff so yeah that's probably what i'm going to use it for the most just recharging gear in between trips family camping trip plug the fridge in it's like a 12 volt setup ready to go um with an inverter the whole lot usbs galore we got one two three usbs and a USB C, I believe you call it 12 volt plug in here got a couple of other little power ports here which I'm not even sure what they are. And what else are we gonna say? Tells you how much is left right here, how much you're using, and how quickly it will drain in hours. And when you plug it into a power supply, you can plug it in 240, you can plug it in solar, and you can plug it into a, I think I've got a little adapter that will plug it into the car, 12 volt. I tell you how long it's going to take to recharge. I think that's about it. If you want to check it out, there is a link in the video description below, and I have an end of financial year sale on for the month of June. So if you want to buy one, June is the time to get it. Oh yeah, and one other thing I forgot to mention is while I pack everything up because it's starting to rain, I can take this wherever I want, obviously. So chuck it on the boat. Um, hiking somewhere if I really want to carry it. Not too heavy, but I probably wouldn't carry it very far, but probably on that little blue tub. Mission somewhere remote. Power for days, you know. Infinite power if you take the solar panel here as well. I think I've covered everything. Back to the video, enjoy. Okay, hopefully you guys can see my face. Um, I'm just gonna skin a fillet. Had a slight delay because the rod absolutely went off before and it's just like all systems go throw everything um took a massive run and ended up just being a shark because it bit me off which is kind of what i expected because it was huge that's what we're cooking can you guys see that i think you can go there for now that's probably enough fish for me. The rest of that there will go back in the angle in the car. One, 
two, three, four. Four nice sized pieces right there. Move things around a bit because it is way too hot really. I just want, there we go, a nice bed of coals down in here. So we'll chuck that in there. Good dollop of oil. Some fancy herbs and spices. We'll throw them in. Recipe, heat oil, add spices and cook for 20 seconds. Check. Add meat, add base sauce and simmer. Stir in the main sauce, blah, blah, blah. Done, all right, so we'll get that cooking a bit. Now we're gonna add the fish. Yeah, it's cooking. I'm just gonna add this sauce now. Don't expect to see me on MasterChef, but I know how to catch a fish or two. All right, I'm gonna slow that down a bit now. Because I cannot find my correct utensil. Oh, that's all right. That lifted. Oh, that smells so good as well. It might not look like much, but it smells amazing. I'm looking forward to a good curry. I'm warming my face up, that's for sure right now. Absolutely sizzling away. I'm good, it's not stuck, which is always nice. Let's just put that in. It looks a bit like slop, but I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious. And I can't find a good utensil, I'll have a dig. I should have found one before I started cooking, but rookie me. All right, I'm gonna add some rice now. Probably not all of it. I think all of it would overdo it. I'll stir that in. Oh, cannot wait to eat it. I know it doesn't look pretty, but I licked the spoon before and I tell you what, it is going to be amazing. I don't know how much you guys can see. Oh, I can see a little bit. Sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder. There's a nice big chunk of fish right there for you. And before I forget, lemon. Bit of that. Lemon goes good with all things seafood, I reckon. I've yet to find something that it doesn't go good with. yet to find something seafood that doesn't go good with. Oh. Let's throw a little bit more light out there. There we go. I can't see a damn thing now. Hang on. All right. There we go, dinner is served. It is amazing. I already squeezed a bit of lemon on there. Anyway, I'm gonna dig in. Probably could do with a little salt and pepper. Just a little, not much. It's pretty close to spot on. Um, I'm just waiting for that rod to go off again. I'm ready, if it does. Nothing like fighting a big fish on a 14 foot rod without one of these things that hurts, I tell you. Anyway. Mm. It's so good. So there we go. The old tikka masala. Goes good. And as for that, done with it. If the rod goes off behind me, I'll let you know. It already did it once, like I said, but it was a shark. Big gummy or a skippy or who knows? Well, how about that? 
That's ridiculous. There's a very nice sandy south coast snapper. You've got to be kidding me, just sitting around the fire, chilling, waiting for the rod to go off, and there it goes. All right, I got a good photo. I got some footage, time to release.